Welcome to another video in which we'll be talking about the sequential mediation analysis using Andrews and Hayes process macro. So before we go to the SPSS file and see how we can analyze the sequential mediation, we need to understand what is sequential mediation, uh, how many paths are there, uh, what, what do we mean by mediator one, mediator two, and uh, furthermore mediators. And then finally, we'll be uh, discussing and interpreting the results of sequential mediation model in SPSS. So let's first understand what do we mean by sequential mediation. So uh, if you've not seen my previous videos, please, uh, I'll suggest that you go and watch the video related to the types of variables. So in the types of variable, one type of variable is known as mediator. But in the sequential mediation model, you do not have one mediator, but you have more than one mediators. So in this model, culture for creat creativity is our independent variable. Performance of the firm is our dependent variable. But the relationship is being mediated with two mediators. So when you have more than one mediator between an independent and a dependent variable, that is known as sequential mediation model. This Andrew and Hayes process macro has the capability to analyze these sequential mediation model results. So here in this example, uh, we are considering that whenever there is a culture for creativity, it has an impact on employee creativity. And then employee creativity leads to innovation. And then innovation leads to higher performance of the organization. So in this case, we have X variable, which is independent variable. We have Y variable, which is the dependent variable. And then we have M1 as mediator one and M2 as mediator two. Now these uh, M, X and Y are very important to understand and to know about because when we go to the analyze sheet of the uh, Andrew and Hayes process macro, we will need to put these variables in their respective places. Now, uh, there are some other parts that are available and when we will be analyzing our sequential mediation model, it will also help us analyzing some other parts. So now, if you look at it very carefully, first of all, we are talking about the sequential mediation. That is this path that it is going to go from here to creativity, innovation, and then to performance. So that means this is one path. You can say that this is our sequential mediation path. IV to DV through two mediators. This is our sequential mediation path. But there are two more paths that are available. So for that, let's change uh, the color of the pen. And now we can draw. The first path is from the culture to creativity to performance. Now this has one mediator. The other path is from culture to innovation to performance. So that means in total, we can see three mediating paths. One with single mediator, second with single mediator, and third with uh, the sequential mediation, which is this path. So what we are interested uh, here is, we are interested in the analysis of the sequential mediation, but when we will be using this model six for the sequential mediation, we will also get result of these uh, separate paths. And this path is known as the direct path. So here uh, we have M1 and M2 as our sequential mediators. And remember that for this kind of analysis, no matter how many uh, mediators in sequence you have in a model, you're always going to use model six for your analysis. Now, let's go to our SPSS sheet and see how we can uh, use this uh, model. 
Now, this is our sheet in which we are going to analyze our sequential mediation. Now, what do we have to do? We need to go to analyze, regression, process by Andrew and F. Hayes. Now, if you if this this uh, process is not showing in your SPSS, then you need to install it. For that, you can uh, see my other video, uh, uh, which is part one of the mediation and moderation analysis using SPSS in the same playlist. So, uh, once you've installed this uh, process, you can just go to analyze, regression, and process by Andrew F. Hayes. Now, this is going to be your uh, uh, analysis pan. And what we have to do is, first thing that we need to do here is, we need to change the model number. Because we are using sequential mediation, we will go for six model number. So once this uh, model number six is done, now we need to place our variables into these respective places. Now remember we were saying that it is very important to understand what is X, what is Y, and what is the M variable. So our culture for creativity was our independent variable. Creativity was our first mediator. So it's going to go to the M1. Make sure that they go in the same sequence as they are present in your model. Innovation is our second mediator. So M1 is creativity, M2 is innovation. So they should be in the same order. And performance is our dependent variable, which is going to go to this Y bracket. So now we have all our mediator and IV and DV in place. Just go for the option and click this total effect model, which is, which is only used for four and six model only. Now, another thing that I want to remind, remind you here is that if you have these variable names of more than eight characters, it is not going to analyze for you. It is going to give you an error. So make sure that the names of these variables have less than eight characters or equal to eight characters. Now, uh, we have model six, we have all the variables in place. Now we just need to click OK. Now, we've got our results and first we need to see here is that uh, it has run different things for us, especially starting from here. It says that I'm using model number six. This is my M1. As we talked about, this is my M2. The sample size we are using is 250. This is some regression that it has uh, used. Some models have been tested but currently we're not interested in those models and we straightforwardly we are going to go to this final table that is total direct and indirect effect now it is very important to understand how to interpret our results of sequential mediation in order to understand the results of the sequential mediation first you need to understand the key of the indirect effects now what is this key saying? Indirect effect one, which means the path is culture to creativity to performance. The path with simple mediation, with one mediator, which is M1. The second indirect effect is the sequential mediation effect because the key is saying that these are the results of this path, which means the culture to creativity to innovation to performance that means this path has two variables as mediators m1 and m2 this is our dependent variable this is our independent variable the same way the indirect effect three means that culture to innovation to performance so if you're only interested in knowing the sequential mediation then you only need to interpret these indirect two results and this path now, where are these results given? First of all, these are these results. For example, if you look at this uh, first indirect effect, 
it is saying that 0.11115 is the indirect effect. And as we can see that both LLCI and ULCI, they have the same sign or the zero does not lie between their range. So we can say these effects are significant. So this means this path is significant. This path from culture to creativity to performance is significant. What about the sequential mediation? For the sequential mediation, you can see the indirect effect too. That is 0 0.35 uh, 3, 2, and as we can see that both LLC and ULCI, they have the same sign or the zero does not lie uh, between their range. For more clear understanding of the ULCI and uh, uh, LLCI, you can see my other video, uh, video of mediation moderation analysis. So now here we can clearly say that this path of sequential mediation is significant. And there is a good contribution of mediator one and mediator two between the relationship of independent and dependent variable. Now, just for the sake of understanding, let's look at our third indirect effect. Third indirect effect is in negative, and it is also not significant because one of the uh, confid confidence intervals has a minus sign and the other one has a positive sign, which means the zero lie between the range of these two uh, values. Therefore, it is not significant. And we will say that this path does not exist. This uh, indirect three part does not exist. Now, let's look at some more things here. Now, what it is trying to tell us is the total effect of X on Y is 0.2805. Now you see direct effect, which is from IV to DV has become minus, but it is only there if there is a path of creativity and innovation. And here, if you see this total, this total is the total indirect effect. So if you are going to sum up the three effects, this is going to give you this total. So this total effect is of the effect from IV to DV through the mediator and directly. But this total effect is the effect of all the indirect effects. All the indirect effects combined is known as this total effect. And this means total indirect effect. Don't worry, just uh, you're seeing some odd values here just because there are some negative values like this one and this one. That is why these values uh, might look different. But if you do the calculation, they're going to come up the same. So this is how you interpret your uh, sequential mediation analysis. Thank you very much for now. And in the next videos, we'll be talking about some other models. Thank you.